if I may, Don Vito. Yeah, allow me to offer you a sandwich. Most kind of you, Salvatore. There you are. It was a wise move you're coming to New York. If I'd been you, I'd have moved here five years ago. In the United States, things have another dimension. So far, we've always done good business together. Now we're going to work together here. Things are going to even be better. You're with friends here. It'll be a breeze, cousin. We're close, united, like the leaves of the artichoke. What's the word for leaves? Kushka. Bravo. That's the way it's got to be, like the leaves of the artichoke. And should you ever get homesick for Sicily, here you'll find everything you could want. Salvatore, the pasta you make with the sardines, is it good? Modestly speaking, it's better than your cat in Pelham. <laughs> what did I tell you? Thought a couple of China, someone must have squealed on me. Your name, please. Fernandez. On vacation for Venezuela. Could you show me your passport, please? Your entry visa? Nice work, huh? Looks almost like the real thing. We're going to have to ask you to come with us, sir. With your permission, officer, I'd like to call my attorney. Okay. What are you talking about, man? You've been telling me that ever since I've I've had you. Oh, you I've had it. I've had it with you. you know, that's, that's enough. I'm tired of it. I don't want I'm tired of you trying to rip me off, man. You're tired. That's right. You're tired. Listen, you want to go? I'm talking about this. Yeah, but you can take yourself a good deal. Come on. We lost them. Eh, what do you want? Can't go searching the whole neighborhood. Let's go check out his car. Roberto Fernandez, Venezuela citizen. Vito Ferrando, Italian. Born Torino, August 6, 1936. Right, Lieutenant. That's the one we found in his car. Fernando Fernandez, whatever his name is. He's big in drugs, one of the real biggies. The snitch was clear on that. Get these photos off to Interpol in Italy and Venezuela right away. Let's see if they have anything useful to say. Oh, and I want an ABP across the country. By the way, down at headquarters, they know we've got a tip on this bird. If I were you, I'd do my best to find sure, it. Lieutenant, only... If we... I were you, I wouldn't think about anything else. I meant that we would... I wouldn't even sleep at night if I were you. That's a piece of advice. Sir. <laughs> Palermo before, I understand. Yeah, I was here several years ago. I see. Well, what can we do for you now, Lieutenant? I'm investigating the death of Salvatore Santoro. I figure you can give me some information on the Mafia in Palermo. Two men and a girl were with him in the restaurant when he was killed. I want to know who they are. You haven't got a line on the killer, huh? No. Not even a description. I questioned every client who had eaten there that night. As far as they were concerned, he might have dropped dead of a heart attack. Pure fright. More than that, no one gives a damn. Too much television. Leave it to Tele Savalas, he'll solve it. We're pretty sure the contract on Santoro came from here. So I decided to fly down for a couple of days. I call that wishful thinking. <laughs> Why's that? Take you a lifetime to get anywhere on a mafia execution. We know who they are and that's all. Take Salvatore Santoro, for example. As far as the law's concerned, he was clean as a whistle. Look, I'll show you. Building speculation. Drugs, numbers racket, and of course, prostitution. They've got the whole city divided up. This is the area the Santoro brothers control. Francesco Santoro is still alive. And this is Michele Beresi's. He's old line mafia from Corleone. I know. He's now trying to move in on the action in Rome. Kidnapping's become a lucrative source of income for him. It's common knowledge he wants to use the proceeds to set up a heroin ring. And the Santoros have been trying to expand their drug traffic in the north. You know who signed that contract? Who's their competition? Can we pin it on Beresi? Well, we can try. 
But this is only the beginning. If he is doing it, then the next to go is Francesco Santoro. Or will they get Baresi? These mafia wars are unpredictable. The only thing we can do is try to watch both sides. I put a couple of men onto Francesco Santoro. Michele Baresi's disappeared. Come in. Buongiorno, signori. Oh, Buongiorno. by the way, Donova, could you turn me on to a good hotel? Sure. Please excuse my interruption, but my cousin has a small hotel, and she is the best cook in Palermo. Very well, then. It'd be a pleasure to stay at your cousin's. And how many days do you plan to stay with us, sir? Well, I don't know. Uh, it depends. Mary's cooking might keep me there forever. Wait till you try her lasagna. Uh. Francesco, allow me to express my sympathy for the murder of your brother. He was a man who always did good for the people here. Even Jesus Christ was the end by Judas. He's heading west from the fish market. We have them in sight, sir. Headquarters and tell him to keep it out of the press. And get him to send a duty ambulance. Have him delivered to the police medical center. 
Easier for surveillance. Yes, right away. Well, there's not much doubt about who murdered Francesco Santoro. This is Salvatore Scalia, Beresi's right-hand man. His sister is Beresi's girlfriend. And the other two? <laughs> One of them is Beresi's man. The other is a local car thief. He's a gopher for the mafia. Listen, Chief, I got a scoop for you. Start writing. Three guys just killed Francesco Santoro. One was shot dead, the other two were arrested, and a witness said the dead man was Salvatore Scalia. Yeah, Scalia. This is ridiculous. Who let out that Salvatore Scalia is dead? Well, I guess it was the reporter who witnessed the shootout. You saw him. He took a couple of pictures. The press. Masters of misinformation. Put me through to the PR office. No, wait a second. Do me a favor. Put out the denial tomorrow. Why? I don't know. But I've got a hunch this is what we've been waiting for. If we let people believe he's dead, we've got an ace up our sleeve they won't know about. No one's going to pin it on Beresi. What about Scalia's sister, Leanna? She won't talk. Just the same, it gives us more time to play with, because Barese doesn't know either. All right. But let's hope Rome doesn't find out what we did. Be optimistic, old buddy. You know they won't fire you. They might put you back walking on a, a beat. Look on the bright side. You could use a little fresh air. Eh? <laughs> no, he's in no condition to undergo questioning. His wound is relatively minor. It's in the shoulder. But he's suffering from shock, and we have him under heavy sedation. When can I speak to him, Doctor? Well, it might be possible tonight or tomorrow morning. It depends. But not right now. Bernie, the guy was killed in a shootout with the police force. <laughs> I'd say I worked miracles. You read the news, too. Well, I want you to work another miracle. Don't tell anyone that Scalia is still alive. I want him dead until tomorrow evening. Very well. I'm willing to do what I can. I won't breathe the word to anyone. And neither will my staff. Thanks. Take care. That first door belongs to Scalia's sister. Let's pick up the Nova and then pay Miss Scalia a visit. Uh, sometimes how I wish I was a girl. Face it, Locasio, even if you were a girl, no one would set you up in high-fashioned furs. Why? Am I too ugly? I call you back. Where can I find Lieutenant De Nova? Lieutenant De Nova is holding a press conference. He left word that if you'd like to join him... No, no, he's much better than me at that. Anything new? No, nothing on Santora, I'm afraid. Uh, but we did get this telex from New York uh, through Interpol in Rome. They got a line on some guy with two passports. One is Italian, the other is Venezuelan. Wait a sec. He's Italian. I don't know why, but I got a hunch I know him. I'll give you even odds. He's filed away somewhere in records. Listen, tell the lieutenant I've gone to see Leona Scalia. We do. Thanks a lot. Lieutenant Bernick. Lieutenant Bernick. Where's that photograph? Which one? The telex. Oh, here you are, sir. Go down to records and get all the photographs of Varese. But uh, we don't have any mug shots of Varese, old pal. He's never been arrested. But you gotta have one somewhere. Well, there's some that Lieutenant Danova had taken with the hidden camera. All right, get those. Come on. Yes, sir. Pulled a fast one on us. Son of a bitch. Ah, Danova, I've got some news here for you that should make your day. Let's hear it. You know, Barese was seen in New York using a false name. He'd been to the barber shop and had his mustache cut, his sideburns too. And he's not there on any two-week package tour. You can count on that. Well, I'm afraid he's got it all figured out. 
In America, with mafia protection, he's free as a bird. No, not necessarily. Already they almost got their hands on him once thanks to a tip-off. There's a pretty good chance they'll get another, right? Our next move is to put a call through to New York. Maybe with a little luck we can arrest the guy together. And then we can work on the extradition. I'll lay any odds you care to name. That at that restaurant with Salvatore Santoro were Baresi, Scalia, and his sister. Not according to the witnesses' descriptions. All right, the witnesses. But uh, remember, we have two of the people in question at hand. One in custody, with a homicide charge on his back. It's our serve to know that. Non ci sono problemi, è tutto sistemato. L'avvocato definisce oggi la cessione del negozio. I'm scared, Peppino. I can't take it anymore. I'm afraid the police will arrest me on any charge they can find. Don't worry about it, Liana. We'll take care of you. And in a couple of days, you take the plane to New York. Where my brother should have gone with me, but the cops had to murder him in the street. It was a shock to us all. We all miss Salvatore. I hope I'm never obliged to set foot in this place again. That's right, Baresi. Michele Baresi. He's number one on our wanted list. Yeah, homicide. There's been a falling out among the local mafia. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be doing us a great favor if you'd arrest the guy. We intend to, believe me. Our informant tells me he's involved in international drug traffic. Yeah, I'd put money on it, Sturgis, if he's the man we want. But it's necessary for us to have his fingerprints. Yeah, I know, but unfortunately we don't have his prints. He's never been arrested. People in the mafia should get fingerprinted at birth. Well, at least you have a photo to prove his identity, legally. I could get a witness. Yeah, a girl who could give you an identification. Uh, look, Lieutenant Sturgis, if you do pick him up again, would you contact us as soon as possible? That way I can come to New York with the witness. Yeah. Yeah, woman. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. I say you're a little too optimistic. Yeah, you could be right. But if they can't arrest him in New York, then I swear, Leanna Scalia will testify. I don't know how I'll do it, but I'll find a way. Ah, Lieutenant Bernie, I know how you can do it. Just put some dope in one of my fur coats, then go to the shop and arrest her. That is not police procedure. It's guys like that that give the radical press their ammunition. <laughs> All right. What's the deal with the cops in this town, huh? They're looking for you. And they ain't about to find me. I can promise you that. I'm not going to sit on my ass and write in this apartment, Charlie. Sure, I appreciate what you guys have been doing. A better setup like this would be difficult to find. But I can't spend all my time in bed, no matter how good the company. Oh, cut, son. We got to find a solution to my problem. Oh, I already worked that out. Now, tell me. Just turn yourself in, turn that's all. Turn myself in. Now, listen to me. The police department doesn't have one charge against you they can make stick. All they have is one anonymous tip from a stoolie who is not going to stay anonymous for very long. No, not to us. And if the FBI had anything concrete, they would have been on your case already. Tell me more. What'll be brought out in court? Only illegal entry. They'll slap a fine on you and throw you out of the country. Well, what do you care, Senor Parisi? A few weeks in Mexico, and then you come back with a suntan and a brand new set of papers. Just leave everything to me, okay? You're right, you're doing a great job. My compliments. But there's something you didn't think about. I still got the same face I had when I left Italy. That you did not consider. And you think the cops there won't consider it? How do you know that somebody hasn't found time to send a photo to refresh a few memories in Palermo? But the Italians over there, when they find out where I am, they'll ask for extradition for the killings of Salvatore and Francesco Santoro. It won't be just a question of emigration illegal entry when they get me into court. I'll be sent back to Sicily. For the affair in Palermo? There are no grounds for extradition. Yeah, I know. I got a cast iron alibi because I was in America, right? Right. How about the one in Roma? I don't think you got anything to worry about. There are only two witnesses. One, Salvatore Scalia, was killed by the police. And the other, well, she's your lady. And she'll be here tomorrow. You can trust her. <laughs> You're talking out of your ass. I don't even trust men. So why should I trust a girl? Besides, she and I are finished. It's best to put an end to it. May she, may she rest in peace. Who is it? It's me, Pepino. Oh, yes. Come on up. I was afraid you weren't coming. 
Did you bring the ticket? Yeah. New York, one way. Please, won't you come in? Would you like a whiskey? Sure. Will you take me to the airport? Be sure this was set up by Baresi. Now, there's a certain logic to that. He would have heard that Salvatore Scalia was dead, and then wasted no time in eliminating the one person left who could testify against him. Which makes one think that she was the woman in the restaurant. <laughs> there's logic to it, all right. Lieutenant Bernie, I found this, sir. A plane ticket for New York confirmed for the 3.30 flight today. Here. What a way to go. Get the fingerprint checked down to headquarters as fast as you can. By the way, sir. What's your panic? You think you'll ever find the bastard? It's a procedure. What a good that is. We had two cards to use against Baresi. Well, now we've only got one left. Salvatore Scalia. <laughs> Officer, you know where I can find Lieutenant Sturgis? Upstairs. The other day you were looking for me all over town, weren't you? I guess I must have missed you. Good day, Lieutenant. My client is giving himself up voluntarily. He wants to settle his position here in America. Which means he already has, or thinks he has. What name should I put on the books? Ferrando, Fernandez, or Michael Baresi? Michele Baresi? Who is that? A drug pusher, an extortionist, a kidnapper, and a killer! Never heard of the man. My name is Vito Ferrando. I got nothing else to say. Lieutenant, I want you to know I'm applying for bail for my client today. I'll do everything I can to see that you don't. Book him! We don't like crud like you. The other day at the restaurant, I shit in your face. I'm glad to see you're trying to wash it off. I can buy that. Come on. beginning to wonder when you guys would get around to paying me a visit. Why? Is there anything you'd like to tell us? <sighs> Go ahead. Question me. Do your job. Why should I bother? It's quite clear. Someone gave you a contract to kill Francesco Santoro. Michele Baresi. Baresi? What's he got to do with it? He's been gone for weeks, maybe more. Who knows where he is now? He's in New York. He was arrested there under a false name. He's been charged with illegal entry into the U.S. The American police will keep him on ice for us until we send someone to identify him. I'm happy for you. And don't kid yourself. He's not going to lose any sleep over Besides, what if you make a positive identification? What then? So he gets thrown out of America. He will go wherever he pleases. Parigi, Londres, Rio, and even here in Palermo, too. Yeah, well, maybe it's not all that simple. Maybe he's worried about the killing in Rome. He knows you and your sister were witnesses. You gotta be out of your skull making a claim like that. No, he's sure you won't talk. Because there was a story printed that you were killed in that shootout with the police. <laughs> now I understand. That explains the looks I get. The way people whisper in the hallways. Doesn't bother me. I'd say it's a stroke of luck. For you, yeah. But not for your sister. 
that Kenny Baresi had her murdered last night. What the hell are you talking about? What are you trying to do? Son of a bitch. Kill him if it's the last thing I do. When? In 20 years, when they let you out of jail? There's only one way you can get back at him. Testify against him in front of a judge in America. Then they'll extradite him. Forget it, cop. You hear? You'll never make me sing. Great. Well, he's enjoying life over there. You rot in a jail cell. What kind of revenge is that, Scalia? Understand this, asshole. You have no choice. If you don't get in there and name him first, then your life isn't worth a nickel. Because you're the only one who can put the finger on him. <laughs> Lost his son of a bitch. <laughs> you got a deal. Go with you to New York. Hmm. I don't envy you. That's a big responsibility you've got there. Well, those are the same words the judge used. You must have caught the old man on one of his good days. He isn't usually so enlightened. Yeah, I figure... You must have liked my blue eyes. But if things should go badly, then I'll keep you company walking that beat. That's very kind. <laughs> Tell me something. Why didn't you wait until Scalia's shoulder was better? You kidding? Barese, with the lawyers he's got in New York, will be out before you can say Jack Robinson. See you. So long. Stopping as little as possible, so I prepared a thermos of hot coffee. You want a little? No, grazie. How's the shoulder? Hurt right, much? Don't worry, Cop. I'll make it to New York. I can make it. Don't believe him. I bet it's bleeding again. We better change that bandage or he might even get an infection. Give me the keys to the cuffs. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Change for the phone, please. Hey, Johnny, look over there. It's 
Galia, that son of a bitch. He's alive, and that guy he's with is a cop. You know what that means. This is Bernie. Give me Captain Lucchini. There you are. With a bandage like this, you can go from Rome to New York and back again. You take the situation lightly, Sergeant. I don't. I just wanted confirmation on the flight. Check in 945. Flight 840 on uh, TWA. Gotcha. You'll bring the tickets. See you there. Watch out! my fault. He ran straight at the truck. I couldn't possibly avoid him. Get the ambulance. Yeah, right away, sir. Excuse me. Out of my way. Nothing, Lieutenant. Just a scotch. Nice work. An ambulance is on its way. Did you get them, sir? One escaped, and the other's dead. Thanks. Sorry to leave you here. Too bad, Lieutenant. I was looking forward to going to New York with you. I could have been useful to you there. I speak of the Brooklynese better than a Louis Prima. <laughs> Stay with him till the ambulance comes. Lieutenant. Goes. Be careful. Now they know he's alive, they'll do everything they can to stop you. Take care. Giuseppe Caruso, born in Corleone, October 26, 1943. Did you know him? We grew up together. Here. Well, so much for the advantage we had. <laughs> now that your friends know you're alive, they're going to figure out all kinds of ways to stop us making that plane. Man, I saw your face. I could feel in my bones that you had some bad news to tell me. I gotta admit, I didn't imagine it'd be as bad as this to find yourself royally screwed. So Scully is alive, is he? I bet he's singing for his supper in Palermo. It really makes my day, Charlie. Especially after this great idea. It solved hey, everything. Senor Barisi, calm down. Take it easy. Mm. So he wants to testify. He'll never make it to New York. I just got off the phone to Palermo. And you consider yourself a great attorney. Don't you know the testimony of a dead witness can be more dangerous than one still alive? It's like a time bomb. A time bomb. If years ago I was never sent to the ocean floor wearing a pair of cement shoes was because when Angelo Monterosso wanted to rub me out, I made out a sworn statement. And then I put down every crime he had ever committed. But luckily for us, Salvatore Scalia doesn't have that much brains. He's a man of action. He makes a good soldier. But all you think to do is to put a knife in me. I want you back here tomorrow morning. And bring me some good news, eh? Okay. Wait a minute. Se acuerda su promesa, señor. I always keep my promises. The daughter of this man is real sick in the hospital. He's a big operation. So we'll get the best care and surgeon that money can buy. It's the least we can do for him. Mm. Muchas gracias. Muchísimas gracias, señor. Mm. Oh, 
be in Casino, and by 10 o'clock in Rome. Let's hope we've used up our share of bad luck. Let's hope we are alone on this train. Well, if we're not, you can count on me to do everything I can to protect you. Ah, the man is willing to risk his life for me. Would he be so considerate if it wasn't for Parisi? Here, you deal. It'll make the time go faster. Four of swords. Know what they say in Naples? They bring death. Ah, that's horseshit. You'll die of old age. Well, whatever happens, Lieutenant, I'm going to get to New York. And once there, I shall do what I have to do. One minute. Tick, tack. Tick, tack. I know what you're thinking about. You're figuring out how to get rid of me as soon as we get to New York. To put a bullet in Beresi. Well, say I didn't warn you. I owe you nothing, Benny. Make no mistake about that. Give me one opportunity. I just walk off. on the run, Lieutenant. Yeah, now the fox, you like that, huh? Oh, yes. To get me, they have to put a bullet in you first. Puts a different light on life, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, taxi! To Rome, please. To where? What about the train you just cut off? Wasn't that going to Rome? Some people shouldn't be let out without a leash. It's me, Paula. Johnny. What's going on? I'll explain everything. Get inside. Sit down. Look, I'm sorry, but we're just passing through. We'll be gone tomorrow morning. I seem to have lost the keys to my apartment, so I thought we could... Look, Paula, it's not such a big deal. It's only for a couple of hours. All right, but keep your voice down or the baby will wake up. Does she still raise a fuss, wanting to stay up late every night? No. That stopped when you walked out. I see. A good side effect of our separation. 
Yes, here, please. Sure. What do you expect? Of course she has. The last time he came to see her was six months ago. Yeah, but with my hours, it's... No, sure, the usual story. How are things working out for you? Don't worry, there isn't another man, if that's what you're getting at. Couldn't say anything if there was. You know that wasn't the reason for our breaking up, but because we never spent any time together. And because I was fed up waiting at home, wondering if you were alive or dead. Well, I can see not much has changed in the past few years, has it? Who is that man? Someone you've arrested that you have to protect? You're right on both counts. I couldn't bring him to headquarters or to my house. Too risky. Please don't worry. You're in no danger. No one knows that we're here. What's wrong? Are you sick or something? Can I get you a drink? No, no, thank you. Hello, who is it? No, you've got the wrong number. There's no Astutato here. Oh, it's me. I am Astutato. It's Sicilian dialect, Astutato. It's a ghost, the dead man, a corpse. Well, I guess we're not that clever. <laughs> no, we don't have a chance. They won't let us get away now. You have no idea what they like. I do. Hello, Giorgio. This is Bernie. Listen, I have a big favor to ask. Could you come out to my wife's? Yeah, my wife's house. I've got trouble. I want Paula and the kid out of the way. Sure. Thanks. Sorry you had to get involved in this. Listen, I'll phone you. Where will you go now? Don't worry about that. I'll see you. Come on. Stay on your feet. Yeah. Johnny! Johnny, what happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. But the explosion. It's all right. Have you got the keys to the Alpha? I'll take you where you need to go. That's why I came down. Well, what about the kid? I left her with the lady next door. She's safe. Good there. girl. Come on. Okay. Get in the car. Start the motor. But it's all right. The police are here. I phoned them. 
Did you say who you were? Of course. All the more reason. Get us out of here. have to stay out of this. Otherwise, we get tangled in a mountain of red tape. If I go through the proper authorities, we'll never get to New York. But if we don't get there before Beresi's hearing comes up, we can forget it. Scalia, you know how they operate, so tell me. What do you think they'll do next? Those guys that hit us were not from Palermo. I don't know the wrong mob lieutenant, but they'll try again. Yeah, but when? I'm afraid we need some gas. You'll never change, will you? Only to learn not to drive in reserve. I'll bet you don't have any single bills for the machine either. Do you, Johnny? I'm sorry. No. Yes, Senora. I've got some. Thank you. I make it fast. Get your head down. I got it just what you need. So what should we do about it, huh? I know a nice little place <laughs> where we can... <laughs> hey, man, be cool. Please believe me. I thought the lady was alone. It's okay. I'll go now. Quick. Step up. Just to put the record straight, it's you who forgets to put gas in the car. You're right, touche. <laughs> Quick, take a left, now. Drive into the garage. Get down on the floor. Now what do we do? Go upstairs and check in. The best way to avoid arousing suspicion is for you and I to pretend that we're... Pretend that we're shacking up. Yeah. You wait for me here. I'll come back and get you as soon as I can. I'm not gonna run this side of the ocean. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. Good evening. Good evening. We'd like a room, please. Have you any bags? No. All right. One no, we don't. Tuesday. Very well. I presume, then, that you'll only be staying with us for a couple of hours. Yes, only for a couple of hours. I understand. Of course, you have some identification, sure. sir. Here. Yeah. Thank you. It's all right. I don't need yours, miss. Room 28. Thank you. Yes? Hey, you hear that? You really turned on the desk clerk. Oh. I thought he was coming on to you. Gucci, this is Paul. Is everything all right? Oh, it's fine, thanks. It's very good of you to look after Gina. I'm sorry to dump her on you like that. Look, I won't be back in time to put her on the bus for school. Is it all right if she stays with you? Perfect. Thank you. The baby fell asleep almost immediately. Well, there's nothing to worry about. She's in good hands. I'm sure she is.
That I have it, Lieutenant. Leaving your hardware lying around. Why, you think I was testing you? Oh, you wouldn't say that. How far would I get with an unloaded gun? You're okay, Scalia. Can I bring you a drink or anything? Oh, nothing. Your shoulder? Still there. Uh, if everything goes all right, what time do we arrive in New York? If everything goes all right, about noon, local time. Why? Curiosity. <laughs> begin with. We were so happy with the little we had. What happened? Maybe you'd enjoy a little privacy with your missus. Sorry I banged the door. <laughs> it's cold out here. Get inside, you asshole. <laughs> Are we on schedule? Yes. We'll just be in time to pick up the tickets and board the plane. How much time does it take to drive to this airport? Relax, it's coming up now. I look, an accident. Terrific, sweetheart. You even got us here ahead of time. Uh, but uh, maybe you ought to forget about driving in Formula One. Take the customs entrance to the right. Paula, I... No, don't say anything. When you get back, we'll talk. I'll wait for you. Good luck. 
It's good to see you, Bernie. Everything's arranged. It's good to be here. No need to go through passport control. Thank you. I packed everything you need, including a toothbrush. As you can imagine, I didn't have them put your name on the passenger list. Hey, a drink. Come on. Dice are loaded. What did you say, you crummy spick? You gonna eat those words? <coughs> give me your money or I'll break your ass. I'm not gonna give you the money. <coughs> give me your money, you piece of blood. Hey, buddy. Why are you beat up on that guy? Explain, he, I want to know. He, he, he called me a cheat. What's so strange about that? You told the truth. That means you have no reason to work over this poor guy. Sorry. Give me the money. Give me it. Gracias. Gracias, senor. Beat it. What's the trouble here? What's going on? Nothing. Nada, senor. No pasa nada. What the hell are you doing here? Just giving a little fatherly advice. All right, everybody, back in yourselves. Come on, move it. Get in. Inside. Senor Parisi, they denied bail. I tried to arrange something with the judge, but he's asking for a heavy... Zero, zero. But what's more important in my life is what's the deal with that shithead. You don't have to worry. Scalia is like a fly caught in a spider's web. The more he wriggles to be free, the closer he comes to death. What about a postponement in your swing night? Unfortunately, no. Sorry, Parisi. You're coming with me. You're being transferred to another jurisdiction. You've been having a judge made to order. Whereas now you'll take me to another judge who's been made to order by the police department. American justice is very interesting. The plane has already landed. I'll be back in the office in a couple of hours. Lieutenant Sturgis. Ah, oh, welcome to New York, Bernie. Here, take us back. Thanks. How was the trip? Well, our friends took a couple of cracks at us. Apart from that, not bad. I'm not surprised. You have to keep your eyes open here, too. That was to be expected. I've taken a few precautions. We'll leave by the back way. We'll go in that. What's new in Beresi? I took personal delivery on him. The last time I saw him, he wasn't so sure of himself. I sabotaged a little plan of collusion with a judge. You know, there are some criminals who, if you don't beat them, it eats at you the rest of your life. He's one of them. That's precisely what I'd like to avoid. Let's go, then. Original Anonymous Hotel. There's a hundred like it. Seems like the only solution.
Lock yourselves in the room and stay there. I'll pick you up tomorrow morning at 8. The hearing is at 9. And Judge Carlson's always on time. If we're late, he's capable of ending the hearing at 9.05 and putting Boresi out on bail. I'll put a man on duty in the hall. Keep an eye on things. Thanks. I don't know how you're going to pass the time. With these. <laughs> That's right. I've already let you win too much. Ciao. Ciao. E prima ho vinto io. Siamo pari, no? Se continui a guardare l'orologio, non è che il tempo passa prima, sai? If I were you, I wouldn't stand too close to that window. You see that building over there? It's a perfect place for someone to shoot at us with a rifle. You know something, Lieutenant? Would you believe there are more Scalias here in New York than in Palermo? Who is it? I brought your dinner, sir. It's all right, you can open it. It's Officer Davidson. Put it over there. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What I wouldn't give for an espresso. This stuff is like colored water. At least still tops in some things. If I were you, Penny, I wouldn't touch it. You know what they say about the Godfather. They came to his house for coffee, and they all choked over the cake. <laughs> Good point you've got there. That's right. You should trust me more. After all, I'm collaborating with you. I'll put in a word for you at your trial. That's a nice. When they sentence me, I'll get a discount. Instead of 30 years, they'll give me 29 only. Hey, look, you killed a man. You have to pay for that. What's a self-defense? Not to blast Santoro would have been suicide. He was out to get me. That's what everybody says. No. You should be in my shoes. You try going up in the streets of Palermo where there's filth up to here. No one cares. They slam the door in your face. The only way you get anywhere in that world is by fighting and becoming a man to respect. Booga, booga! I cut that out. I cut that out. Let me have the ear thing. What were you looking for? Well, nothing, sir. Huh? I just, I just supposed to take that that tray away. That's all. I spilled some sauce. I got it on your jacket, and all I was trying to do is wipe it off. Look, 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 look here. Why didn't you try knocking first? I did, but you had the television on so loud. Go see if you're missing anything. What's this? Uh, that's the pass key. Well, nothing's missing. Get out of here. But I gotta say, get out of here! All right. He was searching my jacket. Maybe you just wanted to rip us off. It happens a lot in these big hotels. But I don't like it. Anybody with a passkey could walk in here without us realizing it. police officer's not there. What do we do? Hmm. We have to find a safe place to drop out of sight. And then we'll get in touch with Lieutenant Sturgis. Great. And you know where to go, huh? 
here in New York. Yes, I know where to go here in New York. Yes, would you call this number? 406-9788. <laughs> You know, I didn't believe it when you called George Bernie here in New York. Well, come in, you're my guest. This is my daughter, Concertina. Oh, da hi. And this one. Ah, here she is. Maria, look who's here. Oh, it's a pleasure, Signora. Come sta? How nice to see you again. Me too. Come on, I reserve the best table. I'm going to prepare a dish for you that's real tasty. I won't take no for an answer. Luigi. Luigi, would you do me a favor? But of course, for you, I am always police sergeant disposed of Napoli. I need a place to spend the night, a safe place, that's all. Okay? For me and my friend here. Safe place? No problem. We live upstairs. You can stay there. Nobody will bother you there, Lieutenant. Yes, Bernie. B-E-R-N-I. Right. Listen, when Lieutenant Sturgis gets back in the office, tell him I can be reached at 4069-788. Yes, 788. Right, thank you. America lontana, amaramente sai, ti muore fatica, a quando sto all'America. No, no, me scordo mai, sinceramente, assai, penso sulle donne. Raffae, they are going to sleep here, those friends of yours. So let them sleep. You and Cancetti can sleep together. I'll sleep on the sofa. Babbe? You know us. Yes, you do. Come on, think hard. You know us. But tonight, you didn't see us. You lowered the blinds, and you went down to the cellar with your wife and your little girl to put away your bottles. And you didn't see anyone come in. Nobody. Get it? Love your father, don't you? Nobody move! <laughs> Nobody move! Get out of there! Come on, come on, over here! Come on, come on! Big guy, over here! Over here! Come on, closer! What is it, kid? What do you want? That, over there. Take it. Take it off. We have your permission, eh? You hear that? We got his permission. So go right ahead. Don't be afraid. Come on, get over there. <laughs> it's Christmas. One, two, three. <laughs> You're a clever man, you 
make a lot of money selling pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but, sir. Can I take a, your order, sir? How would you like a, your pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Everything satisfactory, sir? Huh? Can I recommend my wife's ass? Yeah, she's kind of old. Well, let me recommend my daughter's. It's much firmer. Right on, Steve. You got a good eye. <laughs> you got a nice ass. No. <laughs> All right, fat stuff. It's your turn. Empty your pockets. My, aren't you sweet? Jacket and tie. A real gentleman. What's this shit, huh? I never carry any money. Ah, oh, clever, clever. Doesn't carry any money with him. He might get mugged by some punk kid. But what do you know? He gets mugged anyway. And then it's worse because the punk kid gets mad. You scared shitless, fat stuff? Ever see a gun this close? Huh? She won't go off by herself, you know. She's a very good girl. All they gotta do is go like this. With my finger. Bang! And I blow that... Ox face of yours all over the wall. You get the message yet, fat stuff? Assholes like you make me sick. You got no balls and you're shitting your pants. What do you say? Does this fat tub of lard need his balls? <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't need them, why don't we get them out of the way for them? to kill you. Uh, then these punks come in, druggies. Dio mio, it's a miracle we're still alive, Lieutenant. A miracle. going, cop. I'm a policeman from Italy. Leave us alone. You're stupid. You come here to make a collar? Just mind your own business. Hey, you hear that? He's a wop. <laughs> if you don't get out of my way, I'll blow your heads off. Oh, cool it, wop. Now, we're unarmed. I mean, we got 50 witnesses here. Now, you shoot that, and you get your electric chair. Give me the keys. The keys, you son of a bitch.
for once a squealer pays off. You guys have got it all wrong. No mistake. We got a call you threatened some man with a gun. An Italian police officer. Identification's in the jacket. It's an Italian. I don't speak Italian. It's a piece of paper to me. Call up Lieutenant Sturgis, 18th Precinct. He'll explain the whole thing. My captain can talk to Lieutenant Sturgis. Come on, let's go. Haul ass. Okay, come on. Get in the car. Let's go. Bring the other guy. All right, man. Well? I'm sorry, sir. After the shootout, everybody seems to have disappeared. Lucky you got the hearing moved to 10, sir. Well, where the hell are they? No idea, sir. Judge Carlson's here already. If they're not here in 10 minutes, Carlson's going to open the hearing, and then we are screwed. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. I've had it up to here, pal, with you, your witness, and your mafia story. Officer, you're making a bad error. If I was your captain, I'd have your badge. Hey, we got nothing to lose if we call Sturgis. Thank him, pal. Headquarters, this is patrol car 12 of the 27th precinct. Can you pass us to Lieutenant Sturgis? It's urgent. Lieutenant Sturgis is down at the courthouse, car 12. Yeah, well, we placed on the rest two dangerous suspects, one armed with a gun. Italians, one claims to be a cop. Name's Bernie. Will you all rise? Magistrate's Court for the Eastern District of New York, the Honorable Richard Carlson presiding, is now in session. You may be seated. Would you bring the first file, please? say, pal? Yeah, Limotachi Sua. It means, uh, we better hurry up. Limotachi <laughs> Sua. United States of America versus Vito Ferrando. Call your first witness. I don't see my first witness, Your Honor. I'll have to dismiss this case if you don't show any witnesses. One moment, Your Honor. These proceedings are open. The United States calls Mr. Salvatore Scalia as its first witness. Salvatore Scalia, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Excuse me, sir. Your Honor, with your permission, I would like to interrogate the witness. Very well. Do you know that man, the defendant? No. You have never seen him before? No. You know he's Barese. Admit it! Objection, Your Honor, the witness is being intimidated. Sustained. From what I understand, the witness does not know the defendant. So he says, Your Honor. In that case, the charge brought by Italian Interpol is without grounds. Thus, there's no basis for granting the request for extradition. 
Regarding the charge of illegal entry into the United States, this court will set another date for pretrial hearing. In the meantime, the court accepts the application for bail put forth by Mr. Ferrando's legal counsel. The proceedings are closed. You see everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the illegal entry yeah, charge is just a formality. Guess I'm just not a stool pigeon. One day, maybe I'll kill him. If not, too bad. It's just fit. You've got no balls, Scalia. You were afraid of him. No. It is something you won't understand. It is more than... I'm afraid there's nothing you can do now. You know, there are men who can never be trusted. They're too vindictive, passionali. And there's nothing they can do. They got bad blood. But then something happens. One of them has an accident. It's better for everyone. There's no place here for people with bad blood. Is he the one? Yeah, we found a gun, too, hidden on the roof. <clears throat> Wait a second. What is this? You're the waiter who spilled the ketchup. What were you after? Huh? Whom it may concern, in the event of my death, I, Salvatore Scalia, swear that the man who calls himself Vito Ferrando is in fact Michele Baresi, born in Naples, August 6, 1935. And furthermore, I swear that I personally saw Michele Baresi shoot and kill Salvatore Santoro in Rome. Take a look at that. See? Baresi's done for. Let's go get him. <laughs> Lieutenant Sturgis here. Intercept the Black Lincoln Continental, New York Plates. Don't worry, Bertie. We'll find him. He had to take this road. Change his mind. You know damn well my witness can't do much of anything now because you had him murdered. <laughs> but he screwed you just the same. Here. It's a statement that he saw you shoot Salvatore Santoro. Let's go. Hey, you want to know something, Berezi? I can't wait to get you back to Italy. Have you sentenced to life? So you can pay for all you've done. But are you so sure we'll get to Italy?
Prinzessin. 